Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. And today I have a Bible video for you. I am today comparing five different Bibles that I have in my stash here in my craft room. And I'd like to share with you guys how I use them. So I have been asked time and time again since I started this channel and my Instagram page. I have asked so many times what type of Bible journaling or Bible journal do you use? And so I have used so many different kinds and I would like to go through five of them that I have in my craft room and show you a little bit about them. So just a heads up, this is not going to be an in-depth video of each one of these Bibles. It's just a quick comparison and review and to show you how I've used them in the past. If you do want an in-depth video of any one of these bibles definitely leave me a comment below i would love to do a review for you and um and show you what i have so let's get started let's dig in okay so i'm gonna start off with my big mama jama as uh, one of my friends calls it this is my first journaling bible it is the illustrating bible this is the first version of this bible that came out it was a collaboration between day spring and illustrated faith and they came out with this illustrating bible and as you can see you can tell from this front font that it really does look like um, the Ill the illustrated faith aesthetic and this one is in rose gold like i said it was the first one to come out of its kind it has the big coil on the side and when you open it up it's just beautiful you guys it has um this beautiful faux suede here on the side it says in the beginning god created and it was just beautiful and definitely i saved up for this because this was 99 dollars when i purchased this so i purchased this at full price i pre-ordered it actually and um i just love this bible it was my first bible i started off with such a big bible but i really loved it because right off the back i loved how much space i was gonna get within this bible so this one comes with usually about a four inch uh, margin. I do have a flip through of this Bible that I did on a live video. I can link that below for you. And I love this big margin. It has four inches that you can use. Um, the font is an eight point font. Obviously it's a smaller font to be able to um, fit the full Bible in here because this is the full Bible. And um, also it is in the Christian Standard Bible Translation. Um, I just like to let you guys know that it's up here in the front as well and see Illustrated Faith, Illustrating Bible by Dayspring. So it was a collaboration between both of them. But this Bible, especially in the Psalms, you definitely get even more margin. And once you get into the Songs of Songs, let me see if I can pull that. I have so many pages. Like you see so much space. Um, and I love that because when I was beginning, I was a little afraid to go um, outside of the margin. So lots of space. Um, as you guys can see, this is the Psalms. It's even more space. And see Proverbs, how much space you get here. But I wanted to show you Songs of Songs. Um, wait, did I? This is Ecclesiastes. Here we go. So Song, Song of Psalms has even more space, if you guys can see that. So it's even more margin space, which that's Isaiah, which I love. So sometimes you're getting like up to almost a full page in this Bible. But the um, regular standard um, pages are that four inch margin. But like I said, tons of space. This was my first journaling Bible and I absolutely loved it. It is so full. Um, let me just show you the top. So for this one, I definitely have either a tab or a bow for every single page. And I had to retire this one because as you can see on the coil, it was getting thicker and thicker and it was getting super chunky. And I love chunky Bibles, but I also love to keep these on my shelf. So I just retired this one and I did get another one. I have another illustrated, illustrating Bible that's in green. Um, and so, yeah, this Bible also comes in different, um, in different styles. So you can get the illustrating Bible with the same 
four inch uh, margins. You can get it with just the Gospels or just Psalms and Proverbs. And for a limited edition, they did do the Book of Luke once. So that is the first Bible, the Illustrating Bible. Like I said, I love that Bible. It was my first Bible. Now let's move on to the next one. The next Bible that I have to show you is the Interleaved Bible. This is an ESV translation. ESV is my preferred translation for Bible study. Um, I do not, I, I have to say, I do not study in my journaling Bibles. I really just use them for um, creative worship, for art, for notes and things like that. I do my studying and my digging deep into the Word of God. I do that in my study Bible. Um, so it really doesn't matter what type of um, translation the journaling Bible is, but I just wanted to point out that this was an ESV. This is the Interleaf Bible, and this one has a blank page in between each page of text. So we have a blank page and a full page of text, full page of text, blank page, so on and so forth. So all throughout the Bible, you're always gonna see one blank page, one full text. And it's always obviously because the blank page is back to back, it's, it interchanges. So you'll see that across here. I love this Bible as well. For this one, I actually decided to do all the tabs on the side. This was inspired by another um, creative member that I follow on Instagram. She does all her tabs on the side for her Interleaf Bible. And I decided to do that as well. Um, I do add the I still add the um, bows at the top, but I did my tabs on the side for this Bible. I really love this Bible. At first, the all, the full page was a little intimidating, but after a while, I really did get my groove and I loved it. I love all the space that I have. I could use more um, printables. I could use more of the, um, this one's stuck. I could use more of the art supplies that I had. So I really love this. Um, I love that I could draw a little bit to the other side. And um, yes, very, very beautiful Bible. I will say this Bible does have more of a yellowy tinge. Um, so sometimes I would just cover up the whole back and that's okay too. But I love this Bible. I love that um, I don't cover up any text or I'm not afraid to cover up text because I have a full page to be able to use. So absolutely love the Interleaf Bible. This one I got off of christianbook.com and I got it when it was on sale for $19.99. It is a hard cover, so it's not a soft color like my Illustrating Bible. As you can see, this one's really chunky as well. I have retired this Bible, um, but this ESV Bible is very beautiful. It's the cloth front hard cover and um, I used it up I really, really enjoyed using up this Bible. I just retired this um, because it is super packed. I now have another interleaved Bible that is actually a leather bound um, interleaved Bible. So now let's move on to my third Bible. So the third Bible that I have in my stash is my two inch Bible. Funny enough, this is the Bible, um, this is a two inch marble by margin bible sorry this is usually the bible that people start off with and this was my third bible and i really loved it i actually purchased this i love if you guys can see this leaf um indention here um i just love it and i actually brought this for the fall season I thought how cute would it be to, I wanted something with a little bit smaller margin because I knew I was going into a busy season with all the holidays and then go, leading up to Christmas, all of that during the fall winter season. So I wanted a bar, uh, Bible with a smaller margin and I picked up this one. This one's also an ESV, also by Crossway, just like the interleaved. And this is a single column journaling Bible. So the tabs that I have on here, this was actually the first Bible I put um, tabs on for the books. These are from Diverse B and they sent me these to review and I love these. Um, I think it's more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more manageable to have Bible book tabs on this type of Bible because it's a smaller Bible. On the bigger Bibles, it just gets really bulky. It, they get in the way. But on this smaller Bible, I really don't mind it. And I actually love it on this one. This has, of course, the um, two inch um, the two inch margin. And I love this one 
one of the things that I loved about this one is that I could create like flip outs. So I'm still not covering the um, text. Again, I'm not afraid to use the text, but I prefer not to in most cases. So I could just stay inside of the margin. Um, sometimes I had to get really creative to doing flip outs and things like that. But for the most part, it was very much, um, it was very easy. I love using this Bible. I still use this one. It's not retired. Sometimes I do use like clear stickers over the text that I can still read the verses through um but even just like the other bibles once you get into like proverbs and you get into the psalms you do get a little bit more than the two inch margins you get a little bit more space um i would go to say you get about maybe three inch margins this also has and i'm going to bring it up a little closer this also has um some faint dotted lines uh, you usually don't see those once I take pictures and upload them onto, you know, Instagram. You usually don't see them. I'm totally okay with that because sometimes I use those lines to do my journaling. So I'm totally okay with having, for example, here, I did lots of journaling on here. And so I was able to use those lines to journal. So I'm totally okay with um, having that space to do that. So that is a look at this Bible. Again, I love using this one. I have lots of flip outs to make sure I'm not covering the text that I can still read if I need to. But again, I don't read in this Bible. I use a lot of pockets in this one. So this is a clear pocket from um, Target. And so I do my journaling sometimes on cards and I can just insert these, but I can pull this out and read the text still. So love, love that. Um, here's another example of that. I have several card journaling cards here that I did, you know, like a verse mapping. I did, I answered some of the reflection questions. I did like a word study and all of these, I can just slip into this clear pocket right here and um, add some art around the other parts of the two inch margin. So absolutely love that. This is a great Bible as well. I would totally recommend a two inch Bible for my first journaling Bible. To anyone that wants to start off, I actually, when my sister started Bible journaling, I actually purchased her a um, two inch Bible because I thought it was just gonna be so much better and she wouldn't be overwhelmed. I did wanna show you one page and I'm trying to see, here we go, Ephesians. This is one of those pages where I had all this space um, because the book of Ephesians was ending, so it stopped here. So I had tons of space to fill in with um, with art. So I love that some of these pages allow for that. This is another one that you can see without the art that you can fill in all this space. So there are some pages where you can take advantage of the space in this Bible, but definitely a good one. I love that it's um, a soft faux leather bound in the front here. I do keep all of my By the Well for God kits that I have actually worked through in this Bible. I keep the kit stickers up here in the front. I love this Bible and um, I love that it has tabs. So this is the first Bible I did that with and I really enjoy it. Again, I recommend this. I will link below a review on this Bible because I did do one for this Bible just in case you guys wanna check that out. Let's move on to my fourth Bible. So my fourth Bible is actually a pocket Bible and this pocket Bible was recommended to me by someone on um, Instagram and when these came out they became um, they became super popular. I know they had uh, been out before. I love this because it's small. I've recommended this to other people, especially those of you that are starting. This is a little bit similar to the Interleaf Bible. Um, and I'll show you the inside and how it's similar. It's an NIV journaling, journal the word Bible. This is only the New Testament though, um, hence why it's so small. And this is the black version of this. Let me show you, I do have handy the other version. So the other version is this beautiful floral. It has a purple background. I am not so much of a floral girl. I do love florals, but this is very bright for my taste. But I know plenty of women that would love this Bible. So it comes in these two covers and it comes with an insert like this um, as well. 
my black one came with an insert like that and i'm using this for um just smaller journaling pages so something small like a small take takeaway that i want to get real quick into a bible um this is what i'm using this for i love that it has this little latch here or band to keep it closed um because of this band i'm thinking that i won't get this one too chunky but i love how quick and easy it is to make a page in here this is the niv translation this is by Zondervan and in this one, you always have a full page of text on the left and a full blank page on the right. So you have to be careful with the type of medium that you use on the right hand side because it will always seep through. Um, if it does bleed through, it'll always seep through to the text on the other side because the text is always on the left and your art or the blank page would always be on the right. So just a heads up on that. I've only done a couple of pages on this Bible. This is my newest Bible in my stash. Here is one. And I'm loving using the tabs on the side because they don't interfere with anything. So I have been doing that. This is another page. I do have a video for this one. I can link it below. This is one other page. And I love, as you can see, I sometimes I just put in journaling cards in here and that is perfect. Just getting down a small sentiment. And this is another page. Again, using a journaling card and some stickers from the kit. Love that. This one, as you can see, I was very light-handed with the ink on the other side so you can still fully read the text. Um, and what I do is I just highlight and underline the other side. But as you can see, it will seep through. This one, I use an ink that did seep through, but on the other pages, I'm good to go. There's no bleeding through. That was the only page that I kind of got a little bit crazy with. But this is my fourth and most recent Bible in my stash. The last Bible that I do want to feature here is a mini Bible. Now, I have wrapped this Bible. This is a Tim Holtz fabric. I got this Bible from By the Well for God. And they make these Bibles every month. And they make these Bibles to match the kits that come out for every month. And this one was just as they were starting to do mini Bibles. And they had the option of doing this vintage Tim Holtz um, type of fabric and I love it. Um, I have these little velvet um, trims that I have from Tim Holtz that I also added to this Bible. These kits come with everything. They come with the mini Bible. They come with the inserts inside so you can cover the inside once you wrap your Bible. They also come with mini cards that are the same exact size as the pages in here so you can make your uh, art. You can make your art and put those cards in here here they also come with mini stickers that are small miniature size that would fit perfectly on your cards to put them in here and it comes also i know there's one more thing it comes with it comes with the cards it comes with the backings it comes with the fabric and the bible oh and it comes with one more strip just in case you want to do the closure that I do know but this is such a cute Bible I have not used this as of yet I am kind of hoarding it I love how miniature it is I'm in love with this vintage Tim Holtz uh fabric and I just I want to find the perfect project to start doing this this is great for I've seen girls on my team use these for kids I've seen girls on my team journal through all the cards in a kit and add this and gift it to someone, kind of like the Loved Bible Project. And you guys, I just love this Bible. I haven't used it yet, but this is also perfect for a newbie Bible journaler. This comes with all New Testament. It is a ESV Crossway Bible. It comes with all the New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. So the New Testament is in here, the book of Psalms and the book of Proverbs. And again, this is super cute. It has no blank pages, but again, it comes with all the cards to insert into here. And then you can just close that up and it's the perfect mini Bible that you could ever see. And I'm adoring it. Can't wait to find the perfect project to start using this one. 
So that's a wrap. That is it, darlings. I loved sharing these five Bibles that are in my stash with you. If you have any questions about any one of these Bibles, please leave them below. I'd love to chat with you about Bibles. And I'd also love to know what is your favorite journaling Bible? Which one do you gravitate to the most? I know some of us have many journaling Bibles in our stash. And I'd love to know which one you love more in your stash. Um, again, I'm going to leave some of the links of some of those videos below as examples. And if you want me to do an in-depth review of any one of these Bibles, definitely let me know. I'd love to do that for you here on this channel. I hope you consider subscribing if you are new. Hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Darlings, God bless. Bye.